Hey everyone, we launched a very exciting new feature today called Blueprints. Uh, it's essentially a super powerful command system that allows you to create content a lot quicker with much more control. So let's get into it, shall we? What we're looking at here is the Blueprint dashboard. You'll see a new Blueprint menu item on the left there. You'll actually notice that our menu is uh, new as well. We changed that yesterday with the folder structure happening down there. But with the Blueprints, Essentially a blueprint, like I said, is, is a series of commands that helps you create content a lot more effectively and quicker and more meaningful at the same time. You'll see what I mean in a bit. But what you'll notice here, as soon as you go into the blueprints area is that you can create a blank blueprint. Uh, there's some featured blueprints as well. I've created quite a awesome one here for you. It's called engaging questions blog post. And we're gonna go through that today. So if you go in here and you click on that, It'll take you through to the Blueprint Editor. This is for you to view what Blueprint you're looking at to get a sense of what it actually is and what it does. And what you can do is you can, you can upvote, clone or use it. So of the featured Blueprints, if you want to edit it yourself, I'd suggest that you clone it and then you can edit it. But for now, let's just use it. And I'll show you the power of, of the Blueprint structure now. Right, so now we're in the long form editor. You should all be familiar with this. Uh, this is obviously the title. We're just gonna leave that there for now. But over here, it's saying that we should define our topic. Anything that's got an asterisk here is a comment. So it's telling us we should define our topic here. So we use the forward slash define and the square brackets to define the variable. And we're saving that as article topic. Okay, so this is just fancy code to create a variable called article topic, which we can then reuse later on in our uh, article editor. And uh, it really, it, it saves content to a variable that can be reused. It's really, really powerful. So let's run this command. And to do that, you just press command, enter or control enter if you're on Windows. So there we go, it says variable created article topic. So in order for us to make sure that it's actually created, we can do something like this article topic and there we go, it says article topic variable is why content marketing is important for small businesses. Now there are some variables that you can just use that are uh, defined by the system. For example, one is topic, which actually outputs your article topic at the top here. But for now, we're keeping it in article topic variable and we're going to insert the article topic here. So I'm gonna command enter there, there we go. Why content marketing is important for small businesses. And you'll see that the next command is allowing me to style bold the article topic. So I'm just gonna command enter there, there we go. You see everywhere where it found the article topic, it's now made it bold, okay? Now the next command, we're going to write a paragraph on the article topic and store it as another variable called intro. And why do we wanna do that? Well, we wanna do that because I actually want to take whatever I've created as a paragraph and then expand it later on. And you'll see what we're gonna do here now. So I'm gonna run this. It's gonna get a paragraph for this topic and it's gonna store it as a variable. So we won't see it right out now, but it's stored and the next command will write it out. It says insert intro. So I'm gonna just command into there. So there we go. That's the paragraph that the AI created. Nice and long. And I want to expand on that. So I see it created quite a few sentences, but if I want more, I can just write forward slash expand and then the intro. And the intro knows, if you reference hashtag intro, it knows that it's talking about this content of the year. So we're literally using all of that as context. Command enter, it's expanding, so it's gonna write for me on that. And there we go. So it's written a little bit more for us on that, or quite a lot more, close to 200 words. So let's just take, this out for now okay and then we're going to use open ai to identify related questions here's one that says forward slash question so that's actually using if you look here let me, let me show you these commands so these are all the commands that are now available if if you are a content bot user for quite a while you'll notice that we actually had only a few commands but now we have a lot of commands and they are all really powerful so we're using questions, which generates engaging questions for a topic. If you click on that, it'll actually show you, you can also write forward slash FAQ, you write forward slash questions, and in square brackets, you put the topic that you want. There's also documentation if you need it. 
but let's just close this and let's let this run now you'll see this is actually quite complex over here all right i've we've essentially created a programming language inside content bot but it's really not such a steep learning curve once you get the hang of it you'll know exactly how to use it so this is saying i want you to create questions on the article topic which we defined above and for every line i want you to write out that line and i want you to put a new line which is like pressing enter on your keyboard then i want you to style bold that line because that's actually going to be a subheading for us and then i want you to answer the question that it creates so you'll see the question that it creates will be stored into line and we're then going to want to answer that question and to give it a little bit more context i've put the article topic colon and then the question that it creates and you'll get a sense of what's actually happening here now if, if i run this so i'm running it now Okay, here's some decent questions over here. So what you'll see is this is the actual question. This is the first question. This is the second question, third question, fourth, fifth. And what it's actually doing, because we wrote that extra code at the end of the questions command, it's now saying that it wants to style that as bold. And then there's another command there to answer that question. So look what happens when I press command enter here now. You see it's actually applied the bold style to that because we want to use that as a header. Okay, and the next command is forward slash answer. We bring in the article topic for extra context and then the actual question that we've asked it to answer. So let's run that. There we go. So it's written quite a bit. You'll notice that every now and again it puts these. Uh, comments in it just tells you what's actually going on there is a command at the bottom to remove all of those comments nice and quickly i'll show you that in a bit but let's just let this run through all right so we've created a lot of content over here around these questions and answers i'm just going to finish up over here you'll see remove comments confirm if we type that out it removes all of those comments that were in the article at the top except for these at the top here we need to get rid of those and let's go down here this is an awesome command over here summarize content this command takes all of your content and it summarizes it so it uses all of the context of your article runs it through a summarizer and then creates a couple of sentences for you. Let me show you what it does. So there we go. It's taken everything that we've written about and it's actually created a nice uh, summary for you. And then we can just remove all comments again and it's done. So this over here is we've got 842 words and we've been recording for a few minutes. You'll notice I deleted this over here. I didn't like this answer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to highlight this and I'm just going to say answer. And there we go. <laughs> it's talking about baking. So if we need more context, what I would suggest we do is answer. And then we put article topic. That should give us a lot more context now. There we go. And there you have it. So we have quite a lot of content that has been created. Now we are 904 words. And I would urge you to go and explore all of these awesome commands over here. There are some commands that use uh, SEM Rush as well, which are really powerful. It's for premium plus users only. The reason for that is it costs a lot of money to run those commands. Um, we also have reference, which you can pull information off of websites. There's a whole bunch of things you can do with these commands. I'd love for you guys to have a look. Um, see what you can create and if you create any blueprints that you think are really handy for the community, please let me know and I will feature them for you.